If you're filming on multiple devices like a small camera, a smartphone, or even an action camera like a GoPro, then you're probably shelling out lots of cash for different gimbals for each camera. What if I told you you could get away with one gimbal for all of those cameras? And that gimbal is the iSteady MT2 from Hohem. Let's do this! What is going on? It's Anil. Now today we're going to be reviewing the brand new iSteady MT2 gimbal from Hohem. And this gimbal is special. And it's special because it is an all-in-one. It's a one-stop gimbal for all of my cameras. Now, if you're a fan of this channel, you know I love to film with my smartphone, but I use other cameras. For example, I'm filming this video on my Canon 90D. And I've always wanted one gimbal, one gimbal that could suit all of the cameras. So in today's video, we're gonna dive into the MT2 gimbal in a lot more detail. We're gonna do a review. We're gonna cover what's in the box, build quality, design, features, performance, and at the end, we're gonna talk about price and also who I think should be buying this gimbal. But before we start, I wanna thank Hohem for sponsoring this video today. And although they have sent this gimbal to me today to review, everything I talk about in this video is 100% my honest opinion. So let's talk about what comes in the box because the box, man, Hohem has started to up the box game because it looks so premium. Inside the box, you know you get a case. Every gimbal kit I've had from Hohem has come with a case. And you know what? These cases are getting better because I reviewed the M6 gimbal a few months ago. And I think I prefer this case even more. Now obviously, once you open up this case, you are presented with the gimbal. And inside that package, you've got loads of gear. You've got these tripod LEDs and also whole bunch of different wires for controlling and charging various different devices, smartphones and cameras. You've got loads of them. You also have a USB power cable and you've got various adapters for different devices. You've got a smartphone adapter. And you've also got an adapter for an action camera like a GoPro. Now the package they sent me was the kit package and that comes with this AI sensor. It's magnetic AI sensor, which I've just taken off by the way. And we're gonna talk about this a bit later and it's also got a fill light in there. I'll pop that back on for now. Last but not least is this multifunctional Arca Swiss L plate bracket. And this is pretty cool. We're gonna get into that a little bit later. Right, let's talk about the design and build quality because this gimbal, man, you know, it's very, very similar to the iSteady M6, which I reviewed a few months ago. It only weighs 653 grams. You know what? I'm loving all the latest gimbals that are coming out of Hohem. The attention to detail is amazing and the grip is so, so comfortable. Build quality, it definitely is a premium product. And just like the M6 gimbal, the finishing touches, wow, this kind of orange, burnt orange, bronzy, gold, orange. No, it's orange, it's orange. But this kind of metallic finish here, it just, it just sets it apart. From an aesthetic point of view, you're, just, you're not gonna be disappointed with this gimbal. Everything feels amazing. Right, let's start with the front of the gimbal. You can see here, right at the front, you've got the 0.91 inch LED display. I'm seeing this a lot in a lot of new gimbals coming out with displays on the front. And I'll tell you now, it just saves so much time. So just below that, you've got your pressure sensitive joystick and it's so smooth and so easy to use. Next to that, you've got this M button and that allows you to cycle through all of the different gimbal mode and then just below that you've got your record button in the middle and just around that record button you've got your zoom lever here which you can use to zoom in and out so moving on to the right side you can see here we've got a power button and we've got a usb-c port and just over here to the right of those you've got your quarter inch port and this could be used to add on all sorts of different accessories if you want to configure your setup external mics lights whatever you want to use let's spin over to the left side now you can see here on the left side, we have got this multifunctional control wheel. So it can be used for a variety of different things. For example, if you're using your smartphone with this setup with the Hohem Joy app, you can use this to rack focus. And then there's a button in the middle as well. So if you double tap that, now you can roll your device. So it's truly a multifunctional wheel. And just to the right of that, you've got your time-lapse functions here. And then we're gonna move on to the back. And at the back, man, it's quite simple. We've got a trigger. <laughs> the trigger at the back where you can do things like reset position, 
you can triple trigger to change the orientation of your your camera that is the button configuration it is pretty much identical to the iSteady m6 gimbal right so let's move on to set up and talk about some of the key features but before we do that guys if you're getting some value from this video please smash that like button hit subscribe you know what you need to do right we're going to move on to some of the key features now and the first one is that this is a four in one device and that means you can use this in four different types of cell a small dslr or mirrorless camera you can use a compact camera smartphone or gopro four different configurations so if you're out and about and you're filming you just need this one gimbal and as i mentioned earlier this gimbal comes with this really cool arca swiss multifunctional l plate which allows you to mount all of these devices they provide this really cool magnetic tool to unscrew adjust and get it tight to your camera once it's in place getting it onto the gimbal and balancing it was simple and easy and also because of the design of this l plate switching it into vertical mode is simple it just requires a quick release of the camera flip it around rebalance and you're done now you can use the flip screen in selfie mode and create some awesome tiktok videos youtube shorts any kind of vertical setup now i know you guys know i'm big on smartphones on this channel i had no issues switching over to my smartphone halfway through shooting video matter of fact while i was filming the other day i was switching between this camera and my smartphone all the time but as i mentioned this is a four in one so you can use other types of cameras for example an action camera like a gopro would be pretty cool now this is the exact same ai sensor that comes with the m6 gimbal which hohem released a few months ago but i think hohem have taken it up a step because to be able to use ai tracking with a compact small dslr mirrorless camera like this man that is a game changer now i'm going to take that canon 90d and i'm going to stick it on this gimbal we're going to film this talking head video and we're going to see how good that ai sensor is Whew, right i've got everything set up and ready to go here got the canon 90d my pancake lens got the mt2 gimbal all set up right in front of me now we're ready to test out this ai sensor so first thing you need to do okay symbol green led flashes and now there you go it's just tracking me everywhere i can go down here oh i can go up i can stand up oh, i can move to the office show you my paintings and ar sensor is just tracking me and it's working flawlessly some of the other gestures if i want it to stop i just hold my palm up like that and it's stopped now and let's say if you want to reframe if you're using different lenses and you're not quite in frame maybe maybe i'm not in the middle or something like that just do this gesture right here then i can adjust myself to wherever i need to be do that gesture again and there you go it's framed okay symbol and now i'm ready to go and i'm my framing is better this is amazing palm to stop oh, man Ooh, yeah that was pretty pretty impressive man i have to say and this ai sensor also has a built-in fill light which is in a great addition and very useful in low light situations and the rgb function is also a nice touch and all of those controls can be configured on the gimbal brightness the colors everything Right, let's move on to performance because this is where we're going to decide just how good this gimbal is. So charge time on this gimbal is three hours. And once it's fully charged, you get 17 hours of working time. Now, the maximum payload for this gimbal is 1.2 kg. So don't be mistaken, it's going to fit any of those big, heavy DSLRs or those long lenses. This is not the gimbal for you. But if you have a small DSLR, small lenses or a mirrorless camera, compact camera, this gimbal is perfect and because of that 1.2 kg when you're using a smartphone and you can put anything on it and it will handle it i paired my iphone 13 pro max up with a heavy filter you could even go even further with a metal cage and bigger lenses this thing's just going to handle it fine but using it with a small dslr that was the real test for me so when i was out and filming i normally use my 24 millimeter pancake lens on my canon 90d and that setup came to around 900 grams so below the 1.2 kg that they recommend but i have to say my 900 gram setup worked flawlessly this gimbal handled it with no issues whatsoever i got some amazing shots with both my dslr and my iphone 13 pro max <laughs> So 
So what I would say is the motor range isn't as big as the M6 gimbal, but the M2 still had a decent amount of range with tilt at 290, roll at 200, and pan at 360. Think if I was being picky, I would like to have a little bit motor range, especially on the tilt, but I'm not complaining. It's still a fabulous gimbal to use and I managed to pull off all the shots that I wanted to. And for the price, which we'll talk about later, you can't go wrong. And as with all these kind of hybrid gimbals, you do sacrifice a bit of time when you're out and about, especially if you're switching from different cameras to smartphones to action cameras. I can't really complain. It was worth the extra effort just to carry around a single gimbal that could do everything. And as I mentioned before, the design of this L plate and all the adapters makes it so easy to switch the device. Overall, I'm really pleased this gimbal performed amazingly well. Well. Now let's wrap this up and talk about the price because this whole package, the kit package with the AI sensor comes to $329. Now for $279, you can just get the gimbal on its own without the AI sensor, but I highly recommend you get this AI sensor because it is a game changer. So who do I think should be getting this gimbal? Well, if you're a creator on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, you have a mirrorless camera, you have your phone, maybe you've got a bit of action camera going on, this is the gimbal for you. But this is just my recommendation. Please, I always recommend that you do your own research before you buy any product. But if you are serious about getting a gimbal and you're in the market for a gimbal, then you need to check out this next video. I'll teach you some great gimbal moves, so amazing cinematic video. Thanks for watching guys, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.